Hi, I'm Captain Mike. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make investment mix to use for making glass molds. Before we get started, make sure that you have got some gloves. You're really not going to necessarily need these unless you've got sensitive hands, but you're definitely going to need a dust mask. So get these items out when you get ready to duplicate this video. This is a very simple uh, process. But let me give you a little background first. Investment mix is primarily used for making molds to cast metal because it will stand the amount of heat necessary uh, for casting metal. You can find all kinds of videos on YouTube pertaining to that, but not so many pertaining to uh, using the silica sand to make a mold suitable for slumping glass. But it's really, there's nothing much to it. Uh, there, you only use one-third plaster, one-third silica sand, and one-third water, all by weight. And you can mix up larger amounts of this in uh, advance if you want to, and just don't add water to it. And then you would just be 50-50, put it in a big jar and shake it all up, and then you've got it ready to go when you want to. You just weigh out what you need. Now you will need a set of scales that can that can accurate enough to, to uh, measure out in grams or in ounces. Uh, with that said I'm going to show you how I do this. The two main products you're going to need are ingredients if you will that you're going to need is a type of plaster and some silica sand. I have three types of plaster that I use. The first is this inexpensive industrial plaster. I give about nine dollars for 50 pounds. I use it in most of the things that I do. It does work in the silica sand, uh, with the silica sand, but it's not my first choice. You can also purchase uh, plaster like this. Uh, from Hobby Lobby or home, uh, uh, Michaels or one of those places like that. And it works a little bit better. It's a little bit better plaster than the industrial, but it's also a lot more expensive. Here it's like $8 for 8 pounds. Now, what I use and what I prefer is a product that's called dental plaster. And it's made by Atlantic, or at least supplied by dental, Atlantic Dental Supply. It's called Excalibur. It comes in green and it comes in white. I purchased a lot of this at one time and I use it, but this particular dental plaster does make a superior product. It makes a lot harder investment uh, mix mold. The other product you're going to need is silica sand or it's also called silica flour. I purchased this from Davin Ceramic Center uh, in Atlanta. Uh, I'm sure there are others that sell it. You usually have to buy it by at least by the pound. I have not found it to own uh, Amazon yet, at least not where I was sure it was what I needed. Uh, this is 25 pounds, but buy what you need, but you will need the silica sand and it is 325 mesh, which is pretty common. The last ingredient that you will need is some water. Now, uh, when you are mixing this, some uh, manufacturers recommend that you use um, uh, distilled water, but I use that out of my well. I have found that there is no deterrent to using whatever water you have available. Use it at room temperature, and uh, if you get it too hot, it wants to cure quicker, so be careful about the temperature. Now, I use one ounce of water to one ounce of plaster and to one ounce of silica sand. It makes a rather uh, loose mixture, but I find that pours into small molds very well. If you want the, the investment mix to be stiffer, just use less water. Now here's a good time to go ahead and mention that you can purchase uh, investment compound already mixed up. It comes, I think, in a, a maybe a pound uh, a jar. Maybe you can get more. 
uh, but I have found it uh, on uh, uh, Vic, uh, Cart, VicaCartGlass.com. I'm sorry. I, that's just a whole lot from a mouthful for me to try to get out. But it is called Master Artisan Casting Compound. You can get it here. It's about $20 plus shipping and handling. That is, if you do not want to mix it up yourself. Much cheaper if you do it yourself, but hey, some people just don't want to do that. So go there, look at the product, and they'll tell you about it. Here's a little bit more information. Uh, this is what I showed you in the last uh, slide, so to speak. Also, it's really great to go to glasscampus.com, click on tutorials, inscribe to the bottom. Check out their glass crab tutorial and their glass gecko tutorial. They don't talk much about how to make this stuff, but they show you some uses for investment mix molds. It's worth a look. They also have a lot of good stuff on their site. Uh, as mentioned before, the silica sand flower with actually 320 mesh. Uh, you may see it at 25 too, it doesn't matter. Uh, I mentioned Davins, but you can also get it at axner.com. Uh, just go look there and then there'll be other places too. Mixing up the silica sand and the plaster is, is, is extremely simple. Now I have pre-measured an ounce of plaster and an ounce of silica sand. That's just a small amount to do fill some small molds for this video. You can also put it in larger containers like this if you wish and keep it on hand ready mixed. Now one of the things I mentioned earlier was about the different types of plaster. I used the green dental plaster uh, so that I can tell that it mixes real well plus it's better plaster. If you wanted to put just a smidgen say about that much of an oxide color in this it would do the same thing as coloring the plaster up so that you could tell that it was well mixed uh, but you don't have to. Uh, it's going to mix anyway when you pour the water in. Now I use a container like this because it has smooth sides uh, and bottom so that you can get the spoon around that's just a tip, okay? When you get ready to mix it up, you just go ahead and pour in your plaster and you pour in your silica sand and you put the top back on it and make sure the top is on really good. If you don't, it will, it will get everywhere. Now the top is on it and I just shake it up. And it doesn't take much. And as you can see, it's shook up. And I saw uh, dust rising off of this. That's the reason for the mask. Now, once you do that, you just take your water and you pour it in. Now, I do the investment mix exactly opposite of how I do normal plaster. In normal plaster, I put water first then I mix my plaster in slowly so that it will hydrate evenly and not make lumps. But when you're using a small amount of uh, plaster like this or investment mix in this case, it does not hurt uh, to go ahead and just add the water because uh, it's, it's going to mix. And that little green residue you see on the top is the dye that was in the uh, green plaster and it just takes a while for it to incorporate in. And once you have that done and it's all stirred up so that it's a nice consistency, you're ready to go. Now, what I do is I just pour it in very slowly until it reaches the top of the mold. And then you just tap the mold and you're good to go. If you need a little more, you can put just a little bit more in. If you slop it on the top of the mold, it does not matter. It helps to have a uh, bamboo skewer and you can go around the edges like this and you can get any air bubbles that may be entrapped because that's a common. And that's really all you have to do. Uh, I have one here that was poured earlier and they just pop right out of the mold. They, you don't have to put any kind of release on these silicone molds. They work out just absolutely great. Uh, 
and pretty much that's it. It takes about uh, oh, 45 minutes for that to start set up. You've got a lot of work time. When you get through, you're going to have a mold. I rounded the edges off of this heart and I stuck this piece of uh, float glass on top of it. Actually, I fired this one in my microwave kiln. Uh, I just went slow two minute intervals until I got it where I wanted it and it just it slumped down just beautiful and if you wonder what you can do with it you can cut another piece of glass and do it like that and glue it together and grind the edges whatever you want to do and you can put something there maybe little plastic hearts that float around uh, but it works good and once you get ready to do the uh, the slumping you don't have to put any release on this just it's great the way it is. Just take it like that, put your piece of glass on it, put it in your regular kiln, go to a full slump, or whatever works best for you in your kiln. In this case, I used a piece of quarter inch bronze float glass, and as you can see, it's a real, real good impression. What you do with it is your choice as an artist. I'm just showing you how to make the mold, how to make the investment mix, really. Uh, what you do with it after you get it made, you're going to have to kind of figure all that out and uh, do it on your own. But uh, pretty much that is it. Now here's something that you definitely ought to do. Uh, just as soon as you watch this video, you need to go to Susan McGarry's website. It's Susan McGarry Glass. This is her website. I'll also put all of these uh, this information in the comments below. And she has three videos, number 75, 77, and 78. Those are worth watching. She uses ready-made investment mix. She mentions how you can make it if you want to. That's what got me started doing this. So once you've decided whether you're going to purchase ready-made investment mix or whether you're going to make your own she shows you some great uses for it so go ahead and check her channel out and make you some uh, investment mix and make some molds this stuff works really really great uh, you have any questions put them in the comments below and uh, i will get to you back to you and i'll answer them thank you all for watching this video i'm captain mike I'm out of here.